I'm also starting to realize how often I say ope. I am Midwestern. That's my excuse. Might as well end up building this anyway, because we can build the larger modules. I need to control more workers simultaneously. ML booth. We need the ML booth to make the auto dock anyway. So we're going to end up in a loop here where we need to have electricity in order to build out our server. But our wheat is growing. Wheat with a T and an A. All of these uh, drones have skills with skill levels. Um, that's kind of why you see some of them not doing things. So manage worker, this guy's building, for example. You don't really see anything on there. Skills, repair, mining. Self-maintenance is on there. So he's going to recharge. These guys are still making survival meals. So we already went through all almost 100 that we had. And as you can see, we're having more individuals pop out here. So we go from 200 or 28 kilowatts and we would switch that over to advanced life support it went up to like 200 which was pretty wild go ahead and fuel that so now our energy production 316 131 advanced computing we need Permanent storage. There's our computing. Permanent storage is the disk modules. This is going to get rough pretty fast. Well, this may not be the best idea, but I think I'm actually going to do more solar panels. It says that one will reach. We'll do some batteries. Why not? Probably gonna place the batteries in this back room here. If we have a fire or something. We don't have to worry about it. a pretty decent start.
Once we get this ML booth created, we'll be able to train a couple of these other people or other robots to craft at a higher level. Because right now we only have like two that can do any of the work around here for some of these high tech stuff. Stuffs and things. And I'm going to be completing here right now. CP module. Okay, ML booth. That's what we're going to build. This is probably not super important. Aside from the auto dock. Took heat damage. Something's caught on fire. And it's this guy. Let's try to get him out. Come on, come on, come on. They don't always listen. You're supposed to be able to control these guys. Firefighting needs to be like on the top of the list for a lot of these things. That's the easiest way to put out a fire on a robot, is have them YOLO it out into the space vacuum. For repair. There is some stuff to repair. Repair. Drone battery overload. Oh, well it is a little toasty in there. That might be have something to do with it. I don't actually know if it's possible to build flooring. I guess we'll find out. Okay, so electricity grid. Max production 515. Energy consumption. Yeah, we can go in here and switch that to advanced now, I believe. And we still seem to be okay on the energy. So instead of coming out like every, you know, two or three days, uh, they're gonna be revitalized here a little slower, hopefully. I don't know how much batteries produce heat or if they do. Um, this will be a good test area though. I forgot we can actually do the disk modules now. I don't know if I can build on top of them to replace them. Looks like we can. Like the ML booth. Uh, construction 5. So we're going to go in here and go to our highest level builder, which is Scrap here. And we're going to have him... Oh, it says our construction is 7. Oh, Science. Science needs to be 4. He's at level 3. So we're going to go ahead and train him on Science. And that will allow him to eventually build this auto dock. So all these people that are injured, which doesn't look like anyone is anymore, uh, they will be able to 
heal. Survivor meal. Doesn't look like we can make it anymore. Bread. Uh, crafted an auto cut. Oh, flour. Okay, how do we get flour? An extractor. Perfect. So we need to find an extractor. And look what we're going to need. More disk space. 75 kilowatts. That shouldn't be too bad. Research tier. We can, we can figure that out. By the time these are built, we'll be fine. Construction 5. Science 2. That's going to be a bit of a problem. So we're just going to have to wait for Scrap here to level up his science. And once that's complete, we'll be good to go. Alright, he's level 4. Get him out of there. I am going to go ahead and test this. I don't know if this works. So bear with me. But if I build a regular floor, like so, and then build walls, do these still get electricity? 14, 12, 14, 15 ish. Okay. So if I build a wall here, does that lower the ability to produce electricity? Doesn't look like it. So, in reality, we could probably put some reinforced walls on the outside of here, and as long as these are still outside, technically, then they'll continue to produce electricity. That's interesting. Well, this isn't going to save us much if a meteor does strike. If it's a small meteor shower, we'll be fine. Um, but I would say that's kind of beneficial to have. They seem to be putting out the same energy amount. So we'll just do cheap walls for now. And that is a decent start. Unreachable areas. Uh, where at, dog? I'm not seeing an issue. Alright. Well, that's a decent start. So we have... Uh, pretty good energy production. Uh, right now it looks like we're producing about 626 kilowatts. Uh, battery charge will just increase to that total capacity. Energy consumption 358. And that's with uh, researching something right now. Our stability wake-ups are about 10 days apart as opposed to 3 or 4, which is nice. We don't have to worry too much about that. Food is going to be the next problem. I can already tell. We're going to have to build this nutrient extraction pretty quick. So that we can start taking this wheat and producing flour so that we can make bread. So that's going to be high up on our priority list. I'm going to go ahead and increase the wanted amount to like 40 because it looks like it only needs one flour to produce the bread. And I'm not sure where we are at with wheat right now. 24. Okay. We may end up needing to build another 
Alright, let's go ahead and throw a communicator in one more. Uh, we may need to build another food production planter here. Uh, this communicator will allow us to call in trade ships, by the way. That's what that's for. And here's our extractor. I'd like to build that somewhat close to... the rest of our production items. Relocate... I'm going to place it out here. The heat from these items are going to heat up this room eventually, and we actually might end up needing to vent it. So I'm just going to get that set up now. Okay, so there's our extractor. We got rid of our human body and they're loading up grain as well 10 kilowatts not bad but that should give us unfortunately protein i believe and water for extracting the human protein carbon and water And there you can see we are getting heat. I'm not sure if we have. Somewhere we have cooling. I'm just not sure where it's at. Oh boy. I don't connect to upgrade. Disassembler, grinder. Somewhere we can make heat sinks. Cooling, there we go. Radiator, okay. Pulls down the surrounding with a small radius. That's what we need, ladies and gentlemen, right there. Beverage cooler, refrigerator. We're going to do that. What was the other thing we were looking at earlier? Auto kitchen would be nice. Fabricator. Well, we're going to do robotics too so that they can start cleaning. Sounds like a decent start. And now we can start healing. guys I like it that's probably gonna be a, a good start for day one here um, probably gonna leave it at that if you guys did miss the beginning of this video uh, the full stream is gonna be uploaded within well right at 24 hours onto YouTube as I have an agreement for exclusivity for the first 24 hours uh, but after that, you can check it out, the full-length stream on YouTube. Uh, if you do want to see it right away, if you are a subscriber or you have Twitch Prime, 
uh, and you subscribe to the Twitch channel, you'll be able to watch all of my recent streams as well, right away rather than waiting the day for YouTube. But I appreciate you guys stopping in. Uh, thanks for the new channel followers. It's good to uh, have some new faces in here. Uh, it's been my pleasure streaming today. There's our cooling. I'm going to go ahead and save. Once again, thanks for stopping by. If you want a notification for when I go live, uh, you can follow me on Twitter. I do tweet every time I go live, as well as if you are following the channel and you have notifications turned on, you'll be able to see when I go live there as well. Uh, but until next time, guys, it's been a lot of fun. And I will see you next time.